With this quick video, we're going to look at how to make the McQueen robot turn. Uh, we'll do that in two different ways. And we'll start here with just our basic moving forward, pausing, stopping motors and pausing program that we should have seen earlier. The McQueen obviously has two wheels, each driven by a separate motor. And so far we have told these motors, all of them, so both of them to turn on counter, sorry, clockwise at a speed of 128. We get movement because we then pause the program for one second, allowing the motors time to actually do something. We then stop the motors and of course pause again for a second so that we can see the motors have actually stopped. Again, remember there is no um, element of distance or time when we turn on motors, we're simply turning them on and off. To get the motor to turn, uh, what we're simply going to do is just choose one motor. So one motor will be active and the other one will sit there doing nothing. And that will give us the effect of pivoting around the stationary motor. And you'll see that in the video that we're about to look at. So if I was to add this to my micro bit on my McQueen and run it, I'll see a video like this. Now, if I'd like to have even more accurate turning, I might like to turn on the spot, and that would be done by turning both motors on, uh, but having one in one direction and the other in the opposite direction, but both at the same speed. Simplest way to do that is to duplicate the existing block and put them in together, change that to be the other motor and the opposite direction. So now motor one would be turning in a clockwise direction and motor two in a counterclockwise direction. So that will, instead of being a pivot around one wheel, that will give me the um, effect of having my McQueen actually pivot on the spot, a much a tighter turn. And you'll see that in this video here. In both cases, it's important to remember that we are simply turning the motors on and off. There is again, no element of distance or time or angle in this case. So to work out how far to turn, you would have to do some experimentation to work out how long to pause so that the motor turns at distance. So if you're trying to do a 90 degree turn, for example, uh, there's no way to put 90 degrees in. Uh, you would have to do some experimentation and that would also greatly depend on the speed that you turn. So the faster your wheels are turning, the more quickly you'll make that turn. Therefore, the slower, the, sorry, the slower the speed you would need. Um, so again, you need to really think about your turns when you go to make them. So have, have a play with that, experiment with different speeds and times. Uh, you may even be able to do some actual proper experimentation where you graph out different uh, times with the same speed and then change them around and see if you come up with some sort of formula or guide that would actually help you to determine how much time for a certain speed is required for a certain angle of turn. So there you go, have a try with turning your McQueen robot.